guys, welcome to your singles love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your November 2023. You could apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. So um, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and um, what your blocks and challenges are in love. And then we'll finish off the ways to see uh, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on if there's anyone new coming towards you. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective of uh, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, uh, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about Virgo, single Virgos. What's going on with single Virgos in love? What are their blocks and challenges in love for November 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Virgos, for single Virgos. Okay, so we have the Fool and the Knight of Swords here. I mean, this could be you right now. I mean, perhaps you're not really ready to commit yet. Perhaps you guys are chasing your goals at this time here. Okay, the Fool card here and the Knight of Swords. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Energy with the Fool card. We have the Queen of Wands. And the, yeah, so Virgo, a lot of you guys are really okay with being by yourselves at, at this time. You know, you guys are just focusing, in, like I said, on your goals, your career here, your finances. Uh, seems like you guys are in this energy of really enjoying life here at this time, you know, just uh, enjoying new experiencing, trying out new things here, okay? Uh, we have the Ace of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you guys are not chasing anybody at this time here, you know? And I feel like with the Ace of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune, I do feel like there is new love coming in for you. Yeah, I feel like you guys have been... You guys have been doing really well on your own. You guys have been really focused on your healing, stay on the, staying on top of your traumas here, your triggers here. I just feel like you guys are in this really good place. And I do feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here and the Ace of Cups, there is new love coming into your life here. The Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card here, Leo Energy, the Ace of Cups here, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, your Knight in Shining Armor is coming into your life. Whoever this is, I do feel like this is a very, like, intelligent individual. I do feel like this person is very emotional, very empathetic. You know, I feel like this person, you know, is very romantic, too. Uh, and I feel like this person will sweep you off your feet here. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Magician here. Very interesting. I feel like when this person does come in, I feel like you're not really going to give a lot of, t of attention to towards this indiv individual here. Yeah, I just feel like, you're, you know, with the magician here, I just feel like you're really focusing on your own manifestations at this time here. Just doing you. A lot of you guys are saving money for something here. Maybe saving money for a car, saving money for a new business, saving money for a new home. Okay, so Knight of Swords here. Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Tell me the Fool card. The Five of Cups here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here with the fives here, some of you guys might have a hard time or had a hard time dealing with change or... Uh, uh, facing your own grief and your own anger here. I do feel like a lot of this has been released. A lot of like this, this, uh, these obstacles, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, has been, uh, you have overcame them, you know, that's why you feel like you're in a really good place in life right now, you know, with yourself. Okay. Tell me more about single Virgos. What else does single Virgos need to know, look out for, work on? Is there anyone new coming into single Vir single Virgos life? Which I feel like there is. Um, I feel like it's not going to happen that soon though. I feel like it's going to happen sometime next summer. Yeah. Because I feel like you guys have so much that you want to kind of like take care of. You know, I feel like you have a checklist. You want to do this and you want to do that. You want to do that before maybe you open yourself up to new love. But for now, I just feel like you guys are just really focused on, yeah, you know, really focused on more on the important things right now with the eight of pentacles here, the moon, cancer, Pisces here. Um, <clears throat> you know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys are definitely, you know, addressing things that have been swept under the rug. I feel like you don't want to sweep things under the rug anymore. You don't want to run from things. You just want to face things head on. The Six of Cups, can, um, uh, Scorpio energy in this. Yeah, I feel like you're not, I feel like you at some point here 
was running from the past. You were avoiding the past here. So what happened is that whatever you experienced here, instead of learning from the past, you just ran from it, you know? But I feel like you're learning to face it here. Yeah, you're learning to face it here, okay? So this is looking really, really, really good. You have the Three of Cups here and the Four of Wands. Yeah, you guys are just really protective of your energy here too. You guys are actually having a real good time going out there, meeting new people here. Creating this like very strong, stable, happy foundation for yourself. Yeah, I really feel like a lot of you guys are definitely doing you here. And, and I do feel like there is someone coming in, but I feel like you're not going to pay any attention to this individual here. I, if anything, you know, let's say if this person comes sooner, you know, and, you know, you're not going to show this person attention, maybe by the summertime, maybe you're, you're, you'll, you're, you're, your interest with this person might peak. Okay, so uh, the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are doing a lot at this time here. The Moon and the Three of Wands here. Yeah, I, I, I just feel like you guys are really just focused on long-term goals here, your future. So I feel like you guys might be investing a lot of money or saving a lot of money at this time here, which is a great thing. Make sure you kind of like, you know, take care of yourself too. It's okay to spend some money and, and treat yourself from time to time. Don't be too, you know, rigid about it. it it's, you know, so um, two of pentacles and the three of wands. Tell me the six of cups here. Six of cups and the empress here. Libra, Taurus, energy. The seven of swords here and the uh, king of swords. Hmm. Whoever this person is, this King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, I do feel like this person is incredibly protective of you here. Very protective. I don't know. Just be careful. I feel like it's almost protect protective to the point where it's controlling. So this is something to look out for here. Yeah, I do feel like this person might be very emotionally aloof here too. Yeah, very emotionally aloof. They, this person might come off as very uncaring, you know, very unemotional here. I mean... Uh, you know, I do feel like this is this person's personality trait, which is like just having a really difficult time connecting with their emotions here. Okay, so this is something that you should know about them here. The Three of Cups here and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Four of Wands here and the Seven of Wands. So many of you guys could be single parents here. But I do feel like, you know, I feel like perhaps you yourself are trying to protect your own child, protect yourself here. Make sure you're bringing the right person or the right the right person to be in your life here. But yeah, I do see someone here that's coming in. I do see someone here that's about to sweep you off your feet. But like I said, I feel like you might not be giving this person too much attention. But I feel like maybe the attention or, this, uh, or, uh, or, or, or that your interest towards this individual might peak later on next year okay so this looks really good so virgo i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye